Good morning everyone. 26th May 2022. Okay, so let's see which are the important articles. Not so many articles relevant to our examination, but some articles uh, we can take input from those articles selectively. <clears throat> Not holistically, but selectively from certain articles we will take input. Okay, so yes, on first page <clears throat> there is no substantial news. Directly come to page number 6, editorial page. Okay, India must shift the discourse on abortion rights. Okay, on 12th May 2022, the Hindu newspaper, we have discussed this uh, abortion issue in detail. Okay, the particular act of 1971, MTP. Okay, so this Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 1971, the key provisions and also it was amended in 2021 last year the key provisions of amendment also the comparison we have discussed in that article but this article in addition to that discussion also explains some of the obstacles the challenges faced by women in accessing safe abortion okay safe uh, safe abortion services we can say in india so what are these obstacles hurdles they are facing we will cover that from GS1 society part, GS2 paper, social justice part. Okay. <clears throat> Look at the lead article, Driving the Balkanization of India. See, the complete article is not that much important because article is talking about, let's say, divisive forces that are at work in India. And the Ganwapi issue is mentioned here. The Mathura case is also there. Today, uh, the different courts are going to listen to these uh, petitions but with that context the article is written how the divisive politics can lead to balkanization what is balkanization term division of the state into many parts yes very good so division of the country into different parts on the basis of we can say uh, we, it can be religion it can be region or language or any kind of issue so, such kind of divisive politics is being played in India and the, some of the examples are mentioned. Okay, the writer mentions or gives reference to one of the, let's say, speech by US President, the present US President, where he had given this, uh, we can say, address in Tulsa, Tulsa Race Massacre 1921, uh, commemoration of this event. Okay, so in that event, what he is talking is whatever the wrongs that have been done by the past generation, the wrongs that have been done by the past generation, we need to forgive for them. We need to forgive for them, but that does not means, mean that we should not listen to it. As it happens that sometimes, when we have two generations before, किसी ने गलत किया होता है, ठीक है, और वो enmity continue होता है, okay, that continue, that enmity is continued for the next generations, generations to come. This is what we are observing in the country, okay. So whatever the wrongs that have been done by the Mughals, suppose if we are talking a one particular king of Mughal kingdom, so after that we are now let's say fighting over that particular aspect and that too we are blaming the religion the whole religion for that okay so that aspect is explained very well and we need to have magnanimous heart and then only we'll be able to forgive even gandhi ji has always focused on this the value of forgiveness okay so and but that does not mean ki aapne मतलब जानना भी नहीं है कि एक्चुअली क्या हुआ है ओके यू नीड टू नो एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी शुड बी कंपैशनेट इनफ एंड वी शुड फॉरगिव व्हाट एवर द रॉंग्स दैट हैव बीन डन इन द पास्ट ठीक है तो ये सारी चीजें वहां पे बोली है एंड में जो पैराग्राफ दिया है वह, वहां पे एक काफी अच्छा स्टेटमेंट दिया हुआ है वो आप एसए में यूज करिए आंसर में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली इंडिया इज ए यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट्स its founders crafted an 
entity that has so far held out under great adversity but india is also a coalition of peoples that are diverse in terms of their histories and cultures for it to hold together requires leaders with large hearts and not merely big chests ठीक है तो ये हम बोलते हैं ना कि यूनिवर्सिटी सॉरी नॉट यूनिवर्सिटी व्हाट आई एम सेइंग यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी ओके सो यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी दिस नीड्स टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस वी नीड टू हैव दोज लीडर्स व्हिच आर प्रोमोटिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ टॉलरेंस एंड फॉरगिवनेस कंपैशन रादर दैन वी कैन से नैरो इंटरेस्ट नैरो सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट ठीक है तो ये सारी चीज़ें आप लिख सकते हैं आंसर में फाइन सो ओके ऑन पेज नंबर सेवन देर इज वन आर्टिकल ओके अगेन फुल आर्टिकल इज नॉट दैट मच इंपॉर्टेंट सो मेनी लेट्स ए फैक्ट्स एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर मैंशन बट द आर्टिकल मैंशंस अबाउट टू इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड और एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ वी कैन से इंपॉर्टेंट रिसोर्सेज एंड इंपोर्ट ऑफ रिसोर्सेज थ्रू वेरियस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस ये कैसे होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से वी आर टेकिंग द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ राइस एक्सपोर्ट नाउ वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज राइस इज वॉटर इंटेंसिव क्रॉप राइस इज वॉटर इंटेंसिव क्रॉप नाउ वेन वी आर एक्सपोर्टिंग राइस मीन्स बेसिकली वी आर एक्सपोर्टिंग द वॉटर कंटेंट फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस एस्पेक्ट इज वेरी न्यू ओके अप टिल नाउ दिस वॉज नॉट टेकन इन टू अकाउंट नाउ वॉटर इज केयर्स रिसोर्स इन इंडिया ऑल्सो and we are exporting that rice means basically we are exporting water in the same manner other aspects are discussed in this article for example through export of different goods from india or developing countries basically india is or developing countries are exporting greenhouse gases why because for the production of these goods the polluting fuels have been used fossil fuels have been used like coal crude oil and all these things and the developed countries basically they are importing these greenhouse gases from the developing countries when they are buying these goods when they are buying these goods are you getting this to ye aapko pata hona chahiye concepts jo hai theek hai jo hum environment mein climate change mein baat karte hain okay yes now on page number 8 bottom side monkey pox virus origin and outbreaks okay it is making <coughs> lot of news nowadays okay it has been found in almost 1920 countries the cases more than 200 cases have been found so article is writing uh, written with that context it talks about what is monkey pox the virus then it also talks about what is the treatment or we can say whether there is any vaccine available or not all these aspects will cover from general science perspective science and technology theek hai to prelims mein aapko question aa sakta hai iske upar fine now moving on directly come to the page number 12 78 percent students found remote learning burdensome now this survey was conducted by the government itself ministry of education released national achievement survey 2021 report okay and we should use this whenever we talk about the impact of this online education okay whether the online education during the pandemic was successful or whether the classroom learning is more successful or more important in terms of let's say educational outcomes so all this data suggests that the classroom le- learning is we can say more beneficial more beneficial in terms of learning outcomes fine then there is one article dreams take wing army gets first women combat pilot see when we write essay on women empowerment and many times women related articles uh, sorry topics will come in essay so you can use such kind of latest news where you can show that how women are making strides in different spheres of life okay so be it combat 
or be it we can say different other spheres of life political social economical so you can give such examples okay yes on bottom side supreme court recognizes sex work as a profession now this is been done for the first time explicitly the prostitution is being considered as a profession similar to other professions and the supreme court has invoked article 142 to do the complete justice again okay recently many times it has been let's say invoked article 142 of indian constitution so what supreme court has said in this particular case also you should know that the movement of the prostitutes can be restricted uh, we can say in the as a part of reasonable restrictions for freedom of movement under article 19 under article 19 so that part is important for prelims examination okay theek <clears> hai <throat> so let us discuss these articles now first one india must shift discourse on abortion right we have also provided link to that the hindu analysis where this issue is discussed in detail okay now <clears throat> recently it was a news because one of the leaked paper in us had suggested that the supreme court of us was going to take the substantial decision on abortion okay the rights of the women so that's why it was in news so we have discussed at that time but the writers are having the first hand experience working in the rural area ground level in india as well as the top most levels in us so that's why they are sharing their experience from india after more than 50 years of medical termination of pregnancy act 1971 women face major obstacles in accessing safe abortion care which are these obstacles in today's session we'll cover this part okay so remaining part you should refer you can download this pdf you can click on this link okay again i will repeat 12th may 2021 recently we have discussed this so they may not even be aware that abortion is legal and to know where to obtain one safely we all know that this is the main concern in india there is some kind of taboo taboo associated with, with let's say the unmarried women going to the hospital for the abortion and this actually acts as a major hurdle at the same time legal aspects they do not know legally whether the abortion is legal or illegal there are misconceptions misinformation on the internet or in the social circle and where to obtain one safely this is also we can say the problem in india then since this medical termination of pregnancy act does not recognize abortion as a choice they need the approval of medical professionals even in the first few weeks of the pregnancy so it is not considered being considered as a choice of the women so here the the reproductive rights of the women are not completely adhered respected okay reproductive rights of the women so as a choice it is not given under this act basically this act is giving exception the abortion in india is banned it is illegal you should know that but there are some exceptions given and those exceptions are under this act okay yes now unmarried and transgender people continue to face stigma and can be turned away from the health facilities forcing them to resort to unsafe care this is also problem social stigma associated with abortion this is what i was telling you that the kind of stigma that is associated this deters the unmarried women also transgenders to go to the hospital clinic and receive the safe abortion care we can say or services now mandatory reporting requirements under poxo act 2012 what is this prevention of chi- child 
sexual offenses or sorry not prevention sorry protection of children from sexual offenses pardon me protection of children from sexual offenses 2012 now this is very stringent and it considered the children below 18 years okay under this act now under this act there is mandatory reporting against the child sexual offenses impact the privacy and hinder the access of adolescents to the safe and abortion services because the mandatory reporting will result into let's say the right to privacy being violated unka naam jo hai ya baki sara background jo hai jo information hai wo officials ke paas jata hai and there is always threat of leak of that data okay so right to privacy is at stake here then many are still coerced into agreeing the to a permanent or long term contraceptive method as a prerequisite for getting abortion service okay and this is illegal practice okay but still it is practiced in rural areas that to get the abortion the woman is forced for the permanent or long term contraceptive methods okay then doctors may impose their own morality insisting on husbands or parental consent for abortion although it is not required although it is not required but still the they, just because of their own morality doctors own morality they ask the parental con, uh, consent husband's consent for the abortion okay this is the situation the hurdles then despite laws prohibiting sex determination the illegal practice persist and because of that the female feticides the abortions sex selective abortions we say and this affects the gender sex uh, sorry the child sex ratio in india okay so all these are the hurdles faced by the women in accessing safe abortion services in india okay so which are the fundamental rights associated here article 21 okay so personal liberty dignity of women reproductive rights choice okay all these can be included under article 21 okay so control or we can say bodily rights hamare body pe hamara control hona जिसको हम बोलते हैं इट इज ह्यूमन राइट इट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ह्यूमन राइट वी कैन से एंड दैट इज बीइंग वायलेटेड हियर ओके फाइन यस लेट अस मूव ऑन नाउ 78 परसेंट स्टूडेंट फाउंड रिमोट लर्निंग बर्डन सर्वे सो इट इज द गवर्नमेंट नेशनल achievement survey 2021 report was released by ministry of education and this particular survey accesses the health of school education system in the country through survey of children's learning competencies at classes 3 5 8 10 3 5 8 10 standard now what are the outcomes see here the perception of learning at home share of children or students what they were thinking joyful and fun only 45% face difficulty in learning 38% no difference same as school 50% burden some lot of assignment 78% or no digital device at home 24% about a quarter learn better in school with peers help 80% and lot of time to learn new things 70% ओके तो घर पे होते हैं तो पॉजिटिव भी है नई चीजें सीखने को मिलती है ठीक है तो वो है बट रिमेनिंग एस्पेक्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड दिस सजेस्ट दैट द क्लासरूम लर्निंग इज बेटर देन ई लर्निंग क्लासरूम लर्निंग इज बेटर देन ई लर्निंग एंड दिस इज अप्लाइड टू अस ऑल्सो नो सो वेन एवर यू आर वॉचिंग ऑनलाइन वीडियो okay any through let's say live video or recorded video so it 
affects the overall understanding of the concept or let's say there is lack of we can say that <coughs> interaction with the faculty so wahan pe bhi teacher ke sath theek se interaction nahi hota hai okay at the same time when we learn with the peers matlab baki student ke sath mein baith ke jab hum padhte to wahan pe ek competitive attitude aata hai akele ghar mein baith ke padhte hai to wo competitive attitude nahi hota hai just for sake of learning we are learning hai na yes okay then monkey pox virus origin and outbreaks see <coughs> the monkey pox virus has been there okay first it was found in 1957 in congo basin okay and this was first found in monkey in 1957 and the first case in human was detected in 1970s so basically it is zoonosis it is zoonosis that means the the virus or the disease is transferred from animal to human animal to human like same covid 19 okay zoonosis so this is the example now <coughs> the outbreaks of this virus monkey pox virus see this is from the poxy virus family poxy virus family of virus for example small pox chicken pox okay these are from poxy virus family and these virus are dna virus these virus are dna virus okay now these outbreaks have been sporadic in areas where we can say that in central africa and western africa and those people who have the recent history of visit to these regions in those areas there have been sporadic outbreaks but the recent outbreak is unique in sense that <clears throat> such massive flare up spanning multiple countries अभी जो है 220 ट्वेंटी कन्फर्म केसेस अराउंड नाइनटीन और 20 कंट्रीज ठीक है पहले एक या दो कंट्री में ही केसेस मिलते थे बहुत सारे साइमल्टेनियसली बहुत सारे कंट्रीज में होता है सो दिस हैज नॉट हैपन बिफोर देन एडिशनली मेनी ऑफ द एफेक्टेड पेशेंट्स डिड नॉट ट्रेवल टू द रीजन वेर डिसीज इज कंसिडर प्री वैलेंट दिस इज ऑल्सो एस्पेक्ट दैट मीन्स देर हैज बीन पीपल टू पीपल कॉन्टैक्ट और ट्रांसफर Uh, of this virus initial cases were largely but not exclusively among young individuals who identify themselves as men who have sex with men this is also being let's say in news one of the reason for a spread of this disease at present okay this is new thing the present outbreak of monkey pox that's why it is in largely in news now just now we have seen what is monkey pox virus okay it is from poxy virus family dna virus hai first found in monkeys then in human zoonosis hai then we can say that <coughs> the natural reservoir of this virus is being considered as monkey but it is also found potentially among rodents and apes rodents and apes also okay now <clears throat> does the virus mutate ye bhi abhi news mein tha whether the monkey pox virus has mutated or not we should know that this monkey pox virus is dna virus now what is the difference between dna and rna virus when we talk about the mutation rna virus mutate at very fast rate rna virus mutated at very fast rate the best example is covid 19 it is rna virus while dna virus mutates slowly one or two mutations per year only okay and for covid 19 we have seen within one or two years so many mutations have happened so that's why there is no large major concern here along with that if you talk about the symptoms and whether it is threat for human but the experts are suggesting that 
basically it spreads through close contact it spread through close contact with that person who is infected okay like the the contact with the bodily fluids and all these things so because of that only it spreads and we can say the chain of spreading is limited it is self limiting kind of virus theek hai to iska jo hai pandemic mein convert nahi hoga it is still we can say endemic or epidemic it is kind of epidemic not pandemic okay so this is the view expressed along with that does it have an effective vaccine at present okay so at present specifically for this virus there is no vaccine but the vaccine we used for smallpox see smallpox during 19th and 20th century created huge problem and the va va vaccine was developed and now smallpox is eradicated from the world in 1980 it was eradicated eradicated completely from the world now the vaccine that is used for smallpox is effective for monkeypox also okay so we know the cure we know the cure so that's why it is not the worry at present however we can say that the spread is a kind of burden on the health facilities of course so that's why we need to have some preventive measures we need to have at present in india there is no case theek hai to uska surveillance ho raha hai but at present there is no case okay yes तो इसके सिम्टम्स क्या होते हैं सेम फीवर बॉडी एक इचिंग उसके नोड्यूल स्वेल हो जाते हैं स्मॉल पॉक्स की तरह ही होता है बट स्मॉल पॉक्स में छोटा सा होता है ना नोड्यूल्स वो इसमें स्वेल हो जाता है ये डिफरेंस है उसमें मंकी पॉक्स में ओके यस सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिकोगनाइज सेक्स वर्क एज प्रोफेशन सी इट हैज इन्वोक आर्टिकल वन टू डू द कम्प्लीट जस्टिस हेयर इन दिस केस in a significant order recognizing sex work as a profession whose practitioners are entitled to dignity and equal protection under law matlab article 14 also the supreme court has directed that police should neither interfere nor take criminal action against the adult and consenting sex workers okay so <clears throat> again the dignified life under article 21 of indian constitution so they deserve this dignified life along with that sex workers are entitled to equal protection of law criminal law must apply equally in all cases on the basis of age and consent now <clears throat> article 142 complete justice the bench order that sex work should not be arrest sex worker should not be arrested or penalized or harassed victimized whenever there is raid or any brothel see in india voluntary sex work is not illegal only running the brothel is unlawful running the brothel is unlawful okay so a child of a sex worker should not be separated from the mother merely on the ground that she is in the sex trade the court held okay so basic protection of human decency dignity extends to sex workers and their children also so at the same time the court ordered the police not to discriminate against the sex workers who lodge criminal complaint especially if the offense committed against them is of sexual nature okay so sex workers who are victims of sexual assault should be provided every facility including immediate medical and legal care so they will be treated at par with other women whenever there are cases of sexual assault okay so this is progressive we can say judgment <clears throat> recognizing rights of the those working in this particular trade or profession now from the polity perspective you should be aware that there is under article 19 freedom of movement fundamental right given to all indians but the supreme court earlier had said that the freedom of movement of prostitutes can be restricted on the ground of public health and in the interest of public morals so public health and public morality these are the reasonable restrictions for the freedom of movement in this particular case 
okay public health and public morals so because public health is basically there are chances of spread of sexually transmitted diseases among the common people public because of this okay if there is free movement of prostitutes so this concern and public morality also the impact on the common people youngsters children so that that is also considered here okay yes, yes. now dreams take wing army gets first women combat pilot okay so captain abhilasha barak from haryana has become the first women to join army aviation corps as combat aviator after completion of 6 month combat army aviation course okay so you can use such case studies instances in your essay paper whenever we write about let's say women empowerment जी एस वन में सोसाइटी में भी आप लिख सकते हैं अगर उससे रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन हो ओके स्पेसिफिकली द आर्मी एविएशन कॉप्स द यंगेस्ट कॉप्स ऑफ आर्मी वॉज फॉर्म इन नवंबर फर्स्ट नवंबर 1986 एटी सिक्स एंड ओवर द ईयर्स हैज एक्सपांडेड विद एडिशन ऑफ न्यू यूनिट्स एंड इक्विपमेंट सच एज चीता एंड एडवांस लाइट हेलीकॉप्टर ध्रू और वेपनाइज रूद्र लाइट कॉम्बैट हेलीकॉप्टर तेजस एल okay so that is miscellaneous information that you should know fine okay so yes not many articles in today's session although whatever the selective inputs we have taken they are important for us yes any question okay let us stop then